Hello viewers this is your SSK and today we have an interesting story from Chandamama 1972 January and the name of the story is the truthful servant close to the river godavari lived two prosperous land owners rajaram and kapoor they enjoyed each other's company and as their lands are fairly vast and their crops abundant they could well afford the time to sit and gossip one afternoon kapoor strolled across to visit rajaram and as the two men lounged on the veranda sipping tea and discussing about crop prices rajaram's head of cattle came through the yard tended by his herdsman ranga rajaram called out to his herdsman where is my white ram ranga it is coming along master replied ranga who gave a shrill whistle and soon afterwards a frisky white ram came scampering through the gates and made straight for rajaram knowing from habit that it would receive a tasty titbit from the table as rajaram patted the ram he turned to kapoor saying i am certainly lucky i have a prize ram and a priceless servant in ranga no one in the whole state possesses such a fine animal or such a fine servant i agree about the ram remarked kapoor but all servants are alike they will like to their herds of to make a few rupees rajaram smiled broadly ranga has been my servant for years and i know from experience that he will never tell a lie fiddle sticks snorted kapoor i will wager 500 rupees that within 3 days i can make your servant lie to you you are throwing your money away my friend chorted rajaram in 3 days time i shall be happy to relieve you to your 500 rupees kapoor went home pondering all wait on various schemes to make this ranga tell a lie when he reached his house he shouted for his servant somu and told him about the wager and promised him a hundred rupees if he could think of a full proof scheme to make ranga tell a lie it's not going to be easy murmured somu shaking his head but wait a minute ranga wants to marry lakshmi the daughter of old sundaram but the father will not consent to the marriage because ranga hasn't enough money to buy a house what has that got to do with it demanded kapoor it is simple replied somu rubbing his hands give me 200 rupees and i will get round lakshmi to make ranga sell me rajaram's prize with ram kapoor thought this sounded a good idea and that same event somu went to call on lakshmi confident that his oily tongue could include lakshmi's to make ranga sell the ram so happened he met lakshmi as she was returning from the village with sundry purchases hello lakshmi he cried when are you and that lucky fellow ranga getting married never i am afraid replied lakshmi hopelessly ranga will never be able to save enough money to buy a house somu beamed at that girl i can make things easy for both of you he confided tell ranga to sell me the white ram he grazes in the meadows and i will pay him 200 rupees then you can buy a house but the ram belongs to master replied lakshmi nonsense my girl said somu trying to make himself sound like a person of consequences the ramu belongs to the person who grazes it so let ranga make a present of to rama to you then you sell it to me saying this he thrust the 200 rupees into lakshmi's hands and sidled off later that night lakshmi met ranga and he could see that she was bubbling over with excitement now we can get married she announced happily showing him the 200 rupees wherever did you get that money he asked wearily it is all so simple she said with a gay laugh you make me a present of that white ram which i have already sold for all this money poor ranga looked astonished the white ram he fairly shouted the ram belongs to my master if i gave it to you i would be sent to prison for stealing lakshmi's face fell then she burst into tears what shall we do she wailed if i return the money we shall never get married 
to whom did you sell the ram asked ranga as ranga told this story rajaram looked from kapoor to somo who were both feeling rather uncomfortable when ranga has finished kapoor threw up his hands in defeat and said he has not told a lie so i lose the wager turning to rajaram he went on you shall have your own ram back together with the 500 rupees i lost and as for you aying ranga lakshmi may keep the 200 rupees so now you can get married and i will add another 200 rupees for the wedding exclaimed rajaram now happy that she still possessed his prized ram and a servant who didn't stop to telling lies